What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike with SharePoint in 60 Seconds, your channel where you can get all the info you need in the first 60 seconds, and then you can stick around to find out more detail on how to actually make it happen. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Please remember to click that like button and also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for your support. So let's get right to it. Today's tip is don't be afraid of the title column. Use it to your advantage. So stick around to find out how you can make the title column work for you. Okay, first thing, we're going to go ahead and fire off a new list because this is where you see this title situation happen most frequently is right when you're starting out with your list. So we're going to go ahead and uh, name this. Notice I'm not using any spaces. There is a method to that. I'll try and put a link here for another video that shows you what's up with that. And give it a description. Even if it's something silly, stupid, short, and sweet, you never know when you're going to come back to this list and want to know why you created it. Um, quick tip, if you are going to delete it, just name it delete and then make notes saying this can be deleted anytime. We can show Insight Navigation. Why not? We'll go ahead until it gets too crowded and then we'll start cleaning up. All right, so here we go. Instantly, we have a title column and some people choose to use it. Some people choose to hide it. I'll try and put a link up here for how to hide. But today's tutorial, we're going to be using it to our advantage. So we're tracking gaming consoles. I know that there's a certain number of them out there. I mean, I don't know how many, like 50, 60 gaming consoles or maybe even more than that. So you could go ahead and add a, uh, a choice, but then you've got to find out all of the different possibilities that there could exist in the world for gaming consoles that have been produced. That's a pretty big list. So why not, <clears throat> excuse me, why not ditch this? and use the title column for that. So let's say I have a uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, or 5. And a lot of people say, well, you know, it's not very useful. I mean, if we go here, take a look at it. Actually, we can't, we can't change the settings from here in this modern dropdown. So what we've got to do, <clears throat> let's say we want to rename this. And that's part of the uh, tip too, is that you can use it because it can work, but you can also make it a little more appealing to your end users so it makes more sense. So instead of title, why not name this gaming console? Well, how do you do that? Well, we're going to go backstage here, take a look at the list settings, and we're going to go down here and click on title. Notice it is a single line of text, so um, which is exactly what we need for this because a gaming console name is not going to be all that long. Uh, we can choose to have it required or not, but here, we're going to go ahead and change the name. We'll just say, you know, we'll be very specific. Name of gaming console. Or maybe model. How about that? We'll just call it model. Click OK. And this is a hyperlink takes you back to the default view of the list. And now we have the model. And let's see, let's go ahead and add a, uh, a choice column here so we can, our data makes some sense. Company or manufacturer. And we'll go Atari, Nintendo, Sega, et cetera, et cetera. You can fill this out more as you go along. And so now when I go, when I add a new item, Instead of title, it's model, manufacturer, Atari, save. So there you go. That's how you can use the title column to your advantage instead of going through all the steps to try and hide it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. This is Carolina Mike with SharePoint in 60 seconds saying check back for more videos and SharePoint rocks. And so do you. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard.